Let's do a few examples with the sine, cosine, and tangent. Let's say we have a right triangle. It looks like this. We have our angle alpha here. We don't know what alpha is, like how many degrees it is, or how many radians it is. But the sine of alpha is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. 8 over 17. The cosine of alpha is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of alpha is the opposite side over the adjacent side. Let's now write in this third angle. We called our first angle alpha. We'll call our second angle beta. The sine of beta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now notice that the opposite side is no longer eight. Opposite beta is 15. The cosine of beta, well, the adjacent side is no longer 15. Now the adjacent side is 8. The adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of beta, the opposite side over the adjacent side. All of this, none of this depends on how the triangle is oriented. Like I think most of us instinctively, if we're asked to draw a right triangle, we'll produce either something that looks like this or something that looks like this. But if you look at Example two of the textbook, maybe we draw a right triangle like so. And we select one of the angles that isn't the right angle, say this angle, call it alpha. The sine of alpha is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The cosine of alpha is the, um, let me think, this is alpha. The cosine of alpha is the adjacent side. over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of alpha is the opposite side over the adjacent side. 